Hey, what's up guys here? GTA Pubs here and welcome to today's GTA 5 online summer bottom dollar bail enforcement DLC that is going to be coming in just a few short days. In today's video, we are going to be showing you where the bottom dollar bail enforcement business is located on in Los Santos, I should say, in, in your GTA 5 online map. How many locations there's probably going to be and how this is all going to work and so much more so let's dive right in to today's video so we're actually going to start where this location of the bottom dollar bail enforcement business that you are going to be owning when it does come out next tuesday june 25th and the first time we actually see this business is like the first scene of the trailer that released yesterday you can see that new police uh greenwood uh driving by with your new bottom dollar bail enforcement uh, van, business van that you are going to be owning. And people wonder right away, where's this location? Well, it's actually right across from the Mission Row police station, the side of it. And again, here's what it looks like um, if you, you know, did like right now, if you're in GTA 5 online and just driving around again, it does not say bail dollar enforcement on it. It says like some kind of just empty shop that doesn't exist anymore so obviously uh mod it, mod is uh, buying this for you along with his uh daughter jeanette and helping you out here so again you can see me just walking around this location checking it out um seeing what where you know what it has to do with it and uh again it's there's not really much to see right now until this place actually opens but what is interesting is this is like a long building. You can see from the screenshot to the left that I just showed you. It also has coming for soon sell sign on the a banner on top of that building. So I'm not sure if we just have that one portion where the lights lit up, as you can see where it says the bottom dollar bail enforcement. I'm not sure. But again, here's a graphic. Nice graphic by GTA GDFX. I'll uh, give him credit to this again. It shows you a map. With the bail enforcement little patch logo, that's where you should look for this location on the map. And again, this is where this is all is, just for a little refresher. Again, there's not much going on outside of the location at all. Now, it begs the question, is this going to be the only location? Well, I'm 95% sure this isn't going to be the only location. Rockstar Games loves to add about four or five different, you know, businesses of the same bottom dollar bail enforcement because you can't not have everyone going to this one location on Mission Row. It's just impossible. You you'll have like a lot of people coming out. People will just be killing each other and whatnot. So it's hard to say where Rockstar will put these several locations. I am sure. Uh, there's going to be this one that they're showing in the trailer is probably going to be the most expensive one. Um, again, we're not sure if we're going to have any interaction with the uh, police mission row station across from this business or if this is just rocks are just picking a location close to the police station. We don't know if the other ones are going to be spread out near the other police stations or is rocks are going to do their one trick they always do and put one like up near Sandy Shores or that way. So you have a location that's far away from. Los Santos. And talking about how you're going to be able to customize it, I'm sure it's just going to be like the customization feature on the uh, Fours Maze Bank foreclosure site. As you can see, this is just an example of our other businesses that you can buy on that website. And I'm sure this bail, bottom dollar bail enforcement, is going to be added to the Maze Bank enclosure. You'll get to pick lights and whatnot. But one feature that we probably already know is coming. Within this update, remember in that scene of the trailer where it shows the offices and us or a guard. Let's just talk about the offices first. Sorry to confuse you. They are empty offices. You have you talking to uh, Maud and she is sitting down on a computer and there's just no staff in the office. Well, you go back to the other scene and with your bodyguard, you should say, throwing in prisoners into the holding cell so it looks like you can you're going to be able to buy staffing is what i'm trying to call it there's going to be other people working for you and helping your business it's basically going to be a business upgrade now talking about what 
different icons are going to be associated with this DLC. Again, probably Rockstar is going to use that little um, the patch, and it's going to have bottom dollar bail enforcement, and it's probably going to be your in-game mini-map, as it shows you like that. And they're probably going to take the, uh, the S and the handcuff sign or the dollar sign from the back of the van that we saw in the trailer. And that's probably going to be another logo as well, probably for the business missions. Again, thank you, GTA, GFX, for that graphic illustrating uh, these um, little marks. Now, lastly, before I end today's video, there were some questions from some users um, on the GTA forum site. Uh, wondering about how you're going to be arresting the people. Someone asked, they said, the arrest characters appear to be online characters. We'll be given the option to arrest players. They're talking about in this upcoming update with the missions and whatnot. And Spider Vice, an admin on the GTA forum site, said most likely NPCs will be able to capture and arrest, maybe procedurally generated. So, I mean, players probably wondered, could we arrest other people like your friends in game? like online characters and it's probably going to be the same old same old where Rockstar just use npcs but that's a good idea that Rockstar could do something like that but i'm i'm sure Rockstar is not going to uh you know use this or i don't even know if they have the capability also someone asked uh, making a joke about how this update is called the bottom dollar and it's teasing the new payouts with ted's funds too chiming into him and he says memes aside the existing bounty target missions pay 10k for capturing a live target and 5k for a dead one. Rockstar may offer double these payouts for the businesses as it represents the Mark II version of these missions. So yes, people are already talking about payouts and whatnot. How are the payouts going to be? You're going to say, you know, how much is the bail enforcement uh, business is going to cost? Well, I'm going to be going over a whole different video on how much money you're going to need for this update. So stay tuned for that. But talking about the individual payouts for the missions and the whole plot line for this. Tez is, you know, saying about how the existing bounty target missions with uh, Maud in the game already. Well, could they make that a Mark II and make the prices higher? It's likely that Rockstar does something like that. So again, if you did enjoy today's video, a like rating would be super awesome. Remember to subscribe to the GTA Puzzler channel for more videos regarding the bottom dollar bounty. Summer Update is going to be approaching the GTA 5 online in just a few short days. I'll see you guys in the next one.